Hey, Bob! Hey, Bob! Get on over here! What? What's going on? Check this girl out! I just found her frozen in this plasteel bubble here. Like she's been in here for all time. Just kind of dropped into the robotics lab and I don't know what to do with her. Well, I guess we could like give her a little bit of an inspection here and see if she fits into our universe and maybe she can help us fight those evil tyrannical, you know, bad robotics guys. <laughs> oh yeah, well it does say that she's a resistance gunner named Paige. So, you know, that sounds good. She can resist bad guys. Yeah, I, I, I'm all down with that. But I've noticed one problem. Carl may not like her. What do you mean? Well, if you look closely, she's got the same color scheme almost that Carl does. Well, maybe we should call Carl in here and see what he thinks. Hold on, I'm going to get over where you are and be safer. Carl! Yeah. Oh, oh, whee! I'm Carl. <laughs> what's going on, guys? Hey, Bill. Hey, you other guy. Hey, what's going on, Carl? I think you knocked Bill over. Hold on. Oh, oh, my name was Bob, not Bill. What's wrong with you? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, anyways, well, look, look at this here. Whoa, who is that? I know. That's what I was trying to say. Her name is Paige, and she's a resistance gunner. Damn it, Bob, why do you keep falling over? Oh, sorry, guys. I'm just, I haven't had anything to eat today. Oh, well, that's no excuse. We're space guys. We're supposed to be able to work under any condition. But anyway, she's stuck in this plastic bubble thing, and uh, Bob here was saying that maybe John could open her up and get her out of there. Yeah, I, I agree. But, uh... What'd you call me over here for? Well, I thought she might be a Bront driver because she's got similar colors to you. What? That's ridiculous. No, she's not even in our universe, you idiots. Oh, wow, well, I, I didn't, whatever. Well, I mean, how do you know? Well, because I met some people from the other universe and I stole their pants. See, I got pants on that look a little bit like X-Wing pilot pants. Well, I don't even know what an X-Wing is. I know! That's because you've never been to the other universe! Ugh. Well, let's get out of here and get John to open this thing up and he can give us more details on Paige, the resistance gunner. I agree. I got Bron to drive anyways. I hate that wheeled vehicle. Well, I know you can't drive it. You ran into Bob here. Let's get out of here. Oh, there goes Bob again. Ugh. I gotta get something to eat. Yes! Hello to all you friends in the force out there. It's that time of year again. Force Friday is upon us. And I'm John, your host of the Super Awesome Geek Show. And people sometimes call me the Vintage Geek because I'm so old and I still play with toys. I'm vintage just like the 70s action figures, you know? Well, we do indeed have Paige from Star Wars The Last Jedi and uh, I think we're gonna cut right to the chase because those guys took a little bit long describing what's going on here so we're just gonna get right to opening her up but I want to say thanks for joining us again and here we are with another unboxing video alright let's go alright guys here we go resistance gunner page the front of the packaging looks really amazing I like the artwork on this a little splash of what we're seeing in the traditional Last Jedi packaging for age four and up. Don't give it to anyone younger because it'll choke. Cool helmet, gun, and Paige herself with incredible detail. A nice little swirling packages on the pack, on the, the swirling thing on the plastic. That's what I was trying to say. Representing the Force Link activator, activated. It's force link activated. <laughs> Back of her packaging. So from what I've seen, all of the Star Wars The Last Jedi figures have this exact same packaging. All they do is change the figure that's in the person's hand. And it says, requires force link, pictured here, sold separately, available in a starter set. And that starter set has a new version of Kylo Ren with a shorter looks like he's got a shorter cape around his waist 
and then the force link activator that goes on your wrist here. And it works with all the different characters, giving them sounds and every other, you know, stuff like that. Wear force link to activate sounds. So I think it'll be like lines from the movie, weapon fire, pew pew pew, stuff like that. And all the don't die and the copyright information and all that stuff. Maybe the reason we don't get a picture of all the figures today is because look at how much warnings and everything else they have to give you. It takes up half the packaging. So maybe that's what's ruined our childhood. <laughs> our hopes and dreams of having a list of all the figures is destroyed by all this nonsense that has to be here because of all the regulations and crap. Just watch your kids! You know, be responsible. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to go on a tirade, right? All right, we're looking at a figure. That's what we're here for. Okay, so this person is really easy to open. There's a piece of tape here. Maybe I'll do this off camera. So once again, like Force Awakens figures, if you don't want to ruin the packaging, you just grab her bubble. and squeeze her out and you basically have the packaging intact so after you take that piece of tape off the side just squeeze her right out and you've got her out of the packaging and you can keep your box and not have it ruined yay so we'll get her out of their little frozen casing here Ugh. Ugh. helmet Ugh. gun Ugh. Paige, Tycho. I have heard her last name is Tycho. Tico, what do we call her? I don't know. But uh, she's really cool. This figure has a lot of detail. I'm going to bring you in closer so that hopefully we can see the detail here. One sec. Okay, here we are a bit closer with Paige. This figure is just amazing. I'm, I'm totally floored by it. The detail work for a 5 POA figure is something else. So I'll take you around, try to keep my hands flat here, and let you see her from the side, and from the back. I love this, it looks separate but yet molded onto the character. Really nice. These straps are pretty cool which make it appear as though they're connected. She's got a great rebel symbol on her shoulder there. The strap is just amazing. They did really good detail on the strap work with her head. This thing is a separate piece, which maybe will connect up to the helmet. We'll have to see. She's 5 POA, so her arms move and her legs, you know. And then, uh, yeah, her head's on a ball joint. Boop. And she can bob up and down. Hi! See, <laughs> yeah, I'm Paige. Haha. -ha. All right. So she's got this really awesome helmet. Let's just put it on her, and then you can look at it from all the way around. Boop. Fantastic clear visor on that helmet. Let's see if we can go in closer and you can see all those lovely details. So here's Paige from the waist up. You can see the amazing detail on their helmet there. I love all this resistance um, script on the side, you know. Amazing helmet on the back. Similar scripting on the side again. Fits in well with the straps. Just amazing job there. I'm using amazing too much, aren't I? She's got a cool checkerboard pattern with the blue stripe. 
Maybe she's in Blue Squadron. We don't know yet. I'm going to see if this can go up there, so please bear with my hands for the moment. But it does look like this thing can kind of clip on there. So I'm going to see if I can make it work. Alright, I might not be able to get this to work on camera, so let me get a, give me a second. I'll come right back. There we go. I got it on. See, there are two notches, one on each side of the helmet. And that gas mask has little plugs in it. So you can kind of plug it into the helmet where those notches are. And then she can be wearing the flight mask, gas mask, whatever you want to call it. And it goes into this control unit and then comes down around her belt, which I think is amazing. It's just awesome, you know. Incredible detailing there. And I guess you should say that's like a resistance symbol, not a rebel symbol. Whatever. But right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she has a cool gun and uh, yeah I'm going to put it in her hand my page will be right handed we don't know if she is in the movie or not but she's going to be right handed that's kind of a cool look for her right Get her to stand up right. All right. There you go. Oh, she died. <laughs> A first order trooper took her out. Paige the gunner got gunned down. I'll try and get her to stand again. Of course, now she won't stand at all, right? There we go. Paige, the resistance gunner, ready for action. It's time to take out the First Order. Well, not quite yet, though, because we do have one more movie to go after The Last Jedi. So we got to keep them around for one more movie. Then we can get rid of The Last Jedi. Well, or sorry, the First Order. <laughs> well, maybe we're getting rid of both. Maybe we're getting rid of the Jedi and the First Order in this movie. We'll have to see. But anyway, I like this figure a lot. I'm crazy happy about it. This thing is just awesome. I really, really like it. Like her. Goodbye. And uh, found her at Walmart today. So if you're out and about, check it out. I've been hearing people finding them at Fred Meyer stores in the Northwest. Walmarts around the country and in Alaska. And uh, yeah, so I've had good luck because I found all the pop at Walmart. And now I'm finding the Hasbro figures at Walmart before, first fr before Force Friday even comes out. So check your local stores. Looks like they're starting to put them out early. No one's paying attention to the rules this year, I guess. <laughs> Except maybe Toys R Us. Alright, talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching another unboxing video from your Vintage Geek, host of the Super Awesome Geek Show. Check us out on iTunes, Stitcher Smart Radio, and uh, TuneIn Radio. So, yeah, we're on all three now. Or you can just go to the website, www.superawesomegeekshow.com, and listen right there. We had a really incredible one a couple weeks ago, and uh, coming up next is some cool Star Wars stuff with a Star Wars guest. So, yeah, be sure to tune in after September 3rd, 2017. I think it'll be episode 116, and you can listen to, you know, listen about a Star Wars documentary that's coming up, because it's going to be awesome. All right. Follow us on Twitter at Awesome Geek Show. Don't forget that, because we love to tweet. And uh, that thing's blowing up huge. All right, we're out. May the force be with you guys. And uh, hope to see you in line for The Last Jedi. I know I'm gonna go every single day. I'm getting one of those movie pass things from, uh, what's the, the same people that did Netflix, they do movie pass. Yeah, I'm gonna, want, I'm gonna get that. And just so you can go to one movie a day, every day of the month and uh, for one low price. So I'm gonna do that and just see Star Wars every single day. All right, peace.
May the force be with you. Always.